How many photos do you guys have on your phones? I think mine's like at 16,000, maybe. <laughs> yes, wow. like it's a lot. I'll take a lot of photos. Okay. So we think a brilliant solution for you would be a phone photo printer. We've lined up three different printers at three different price points and covered up the logos on each so they can judge which is best without being influenced by the brands. This will just be a test on printability. <gasps> printability, I like that. <laughs> right, I will operate the app in case you see any branding. Mm -hmm. And we will start with printer number one. We'll be printing out some of their most cherished family snaps. And first on test is the Instax Mini Link 2, our mid-price option costing £114.99. So this printer uses instant film, and it takes 90 seconds for your photo to develop. A wait. Oh, well, it's starting to come through. Yeah, it's coming through there a little. Yeah. The Instax photos are around two and a half by one and a half inches, and you can print them in two modes, rich or natural. Today, we've opted for the latter. Uh, so how are those colours coming through on the instant film there? Yeah, it's... it's getting there slowly. You can, you can see the colours coming in. Yeah. So it's quite, like, old-school retro. It's sort of that style, though, isn't it, where the colours get a bit more a bit, washed a bit, out. A bit washed out, a bit And faded. you don't get as much detail. Are the pictures sharp, or is there a bit of nostalgic blurring going on? I'd say there's definitely some nostalgic blurring on the ones that are coming through. Some of the brighter white areas are a bit too washed out, I think, yeah. on these. So a lukewarm response to our mid-price choice. Up next is the most expensive photo printer on test, the Canon Selfie Square QX, costing $149.99. Again, I'll control the app so you can't catch any names. OK, here we go. Print. This one uses heat to transfer ink from a ribbon to the photographic paper. Um, and the claim is that the photos come out a bit more vibrant. Photos on the Canon Selfie Square are perhaps, unsurprisingly, square, measuring 2.5 by 2.5 inches. So that is already much nicer. Yeah. Uh, in clarity and colour. Sharper, it's yeah, the colours sharp, are, yeah. Yeah, you're right. The size as well, that, that little bit extra, it makes a lot of difference. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, God. Like, you can really see Bodie's face oh, in there, well, yeah. can't you? You can pretty much yeah. see his blue eyes, which he's the only one of us with blue eyes. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with this so far. Yeah. Right, let's move on to the third and final printer. The Kodak Step. It's our budget option and costs $69.99. Preparing for print. It seems to be quite take a while to warm up Stop. and, yeah, to, keep, to get going. But once the prints are ready, the results are impressive. Straight away, the, the detail on the water in that has come out really yeah, clear. Yeah. Mm. Now, what's quite clever about this printer is that it doesn't use any ink cartridges. Instead, it uses something called zinc paper. So all the colour is actually in the paper that you put into the printer. And then what the printer does is it puts different pressure on it to release the colour. Oh, wow. The black colour is coming through really vivid. And yeah. the other colours are a bit sort of faded away a bit. Yeah. The Kodak prints two by three inch photos that are covered with a protective coating to prevent smudges. And when using their official paper, an adhesive backing means it's easy to put on your wall. I think the uh, colour balance on this one is a little bit off, really. But the detail is beautiful. Detail, like, not yeah. I, could, I couldn't have even told you on any of those others that that was a spotty blanket yeah, until that's, this that's one. one yeah. Mm. A solid performance from our budget pick, then. Time to put all the prints on display so Matt and Alison can choose their favourite. Will it be the prints in frame number one produced by the mid-price Instax? The priciest photos in frame two from Canon? Or will the Kodak's photos in frame three, our budget printer, be their top performer? OK, which is it to be, guys? So I think our winner's going to be number two, the middle. Okay. Overall, I think number two does pick the post, but I do, I do think this has got a lot of good qualities yeah, to it. Definitely. Well, number two is from Canon. It is our most expensive of the three. The printer will cost you one hundred and forty nine ninety nine, and then for twenty sheets in a cartridge, it's fifteen ninety nine. That is quite expensive, and then it's quite an ongoing cost, then, isn't it? Like. So, Alison, your close second was actually our budget printer on test today. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> it is made by Kodak and it costs £69.99. We're almost saving 
a hundred quid. Yes. So how much are those prints then? So 20 photo sheets will cost you 12 99 So actually the cheapest photo sheets mm. yeah. as well. Like across the board. So for pure quality, the ones in the middle are, they are the best. But if it comes down to price, that one hits well above its weight. <laughs> So there you have it. If you want the absolute best quality, then you need to pay up. But there are still gadget bargains to be had.